subscribe to my channel. So I'm going to be talking about the books that I really want to read in 2021. So, it's, so I have quite a few. It may not seem like quite a few, but a couple of these series, is, especially one series, is like extremely long. So it's a lot more than it sounds. Trust me. Um, plus, at the beginning of the 2021, I'll be doing some rereads throughout January and probably a little bit in February too. So I really only have like March to December to get all this done. So yay, that's fun. Um, so number one book I need to read is Warriors because I'm finally buying all the books and I'll definitely have them by the time I want to read them. So yeah. Um, I need to reread what I've already read and then read the rest because it's been a while since I've read them. A couple years, I'm pretty sure. I might be wrong. Actually, I think I'm pretty right. So, yeah, I need to read those. <clears throat> um, Survivors, also by Aaron Hunter, um, which is because Seekers is about bears, Warriors is about cats, Survivors are about dogs. And I want to read those because I'm, I love Aaron Hunter's books so far and I'm hoping I love this too. And same goes with Aaron Hunter's other series, Brave Land. That one has to do with animals too, but not like Seekers is all about bears, Warriors is all about cats, Survivors is all about dogs. Brave Land is about a few different animals, um, but I don't remember which ones. But I do want to give a try. Like Survivors and Brave Lands, I know nothing about. Usually when I want to read a series, I at least know the description on the back. I usually like going in knowing very little, but I do like to know what's on the description on the back because it's, it's the only thing that will tell me if I think I like it or not because I'm not one of those people that buys it just because of the cover I've never bought a book because the cover was pretty until now I never even noticed that I have some really pretty covers until recently because there's a lot of prompts and questions on booktube like um what's your prettiest book you've owned and until recently I've never actually paid attention to the cover long enough to know that I actually own some really gorgeous covers so yeah I always make sure I know the description on the back and then that's when I decide if I want to try it or not if it sounds interesting, sounds like something that I like. And um, so, but with Survivors and Brave Lands, I honestly don't know anything about it, not even the description, so I should probably read that. But before, I, when I, whenever I buy them, before I read them, I will read the description because I have to read this description before I actually read it. But usually I read the description before I actually decide I want to read it. So yeah, uh, but I love Erin Hunter's other books and I'm really hoping I love these. I think I will. And I'm going to be really disappointed and sad if I don't. So, um, so the next two are comics, which I am not a comic person. Okay, I don't do comics. But there are two TV shows that I am in love with that have comics that show the journeys they went on after the shows ended. And one, they, the shows are connected to because one is a spinoff of the other. The other. And that is Avatar: The Last Airbender and The Legend of Korra. They both have comics that go that shows what happened after the shows ended. And I want and I love these shows so much that I want the comics. And I don't know if I'll ever read the comics again, to be honest. But I love the show so much that I'm willing to give the comics a try. And I might not like the writing style of the comics, but I'm I'm hoping I will like the storylines at the very least. And maybe that can give me past the writing style because I'm not a comic fan. Um, so here's one of my ones that I've been anticipating for quite a while. I keep pushing back, um, and not because I don't want to read it or because I'm afraid to read it, like afraid I won't love it, because I'm pretty sure I'll love it. I'm like 99.9% .9 sure I'm going to love it, let's be real. Um, but the only reason why I do keep pushing it back is because I keep reading other things or I can't or I don't have the money to get the other books and I don't want to read that book until I can get the other books but since I've been having getting more money um once I read these other books that are above it then I will definitely have the money to buy the rest of this series so I can read it so yeah um and the, I already own the first book ouch I hurt myself the ashes i've been wanting to read this for a while i'm pretty sure this is the old cover because all the covers i see now looks nothing like this so this must be an old cover 
um, before they did a cover change, is my guess. I know it's the same book because I hear a lot of people talking about it, and it says Lia and Elias, and I know they're the main characters of it, so I know this is the right book, too. Um, so yeah, I'm just really excited to read this because I've been wanting to read it for so long, and I'm so excited to finally read it. Um, and it's one of the books high, high up on my TBR, as you can tell, and I'm just so excited to finally get to it. The next book, I also own the first book. This one is a trilogy, Ash Princess. I found it a while ago. It looks really interesting. Um, this might actually be the first book where I noticed the cover. Like, actually noticed it. Because a lot of times when I, I'm sc scrolling through books, I, if a cover pops up up to me, I don't really notice the cover much. But if it pops out enough, I'll pick it up, then read the uh, description, and that's what gets me. Um, but I think this might be the first book where the, uh, I actually really, truly noticed the cover. Because, look at that. Isn't that just so cool? But yeah, and I was at Barnes & Noble when I bought it, actually. Um, and uh, the, um, per the cashier was saying how great this book actually is, and it made me even more hyped for it. But I still haven't read it. I don't know why. Probably for the same reason as Anna Burn in the Ashes. But this is I'm going to be reading this right after Anna Burn in the Ashes because these are the two books I've been anticipating for so long, and I'm so excited to finally get to it because it just seems so intriguing. And I'm pretty sure it's a um, a trilogy because I see there's only three. But I'm so excited to finally get to it. And yeah. see next one I actually own some of the books but not the first eight which is weird um, so the first one I own is the ninth one and then I own like um, several they're all like out of order like I don't remember like like one is the ninth one one is like the 25th and like they're all out of order and I found these at a garage sale. I didn't even know they existed. And I'm a huge fan of the TV show Charmed. And I had no idea that these books existed. Um, like none at all. But they do. I got happy. Um, but then I found out that there are over 40 books. I think there's like 41, 42 books of these. So I need to get all of them if I'm gonna read them. And they're high up on my list too because of what of a chart fan I am. I'm such a fan. I'm like, oh my gosh, Charm is one of the best shows ever. They seem like quick and short reads. Like they're like only 200 pages each, I'm, I'm guessing. That's what it seems like. Maybe even less than 200 actually. Yeah, I think I think it's less than 200. So yeah, um, quick reads that um, well, that shouldn't take too long depending on how busy I am, which I don't think I'll be that busy besides work and writing my book. Um, so I don't see this taking that long to be honest. But I am so excited to finally do it. Um, so yeah. Okay. What's next on my list? Um, the Guardians. That's uh, I don't know if you guys have ever seen the movie Rise of the Guardians. I'm in love with that movie. And there are actually books. Five of them. One that has to do with each guardian. Um, the first one has to do with, um, Sandman, not Sandman, what? No. Uh, my, my mind's always on Sandman because he's at everything. He, he's my favorite character. Um, Santa's first, North, that's what they call him on there. Second, I'm pretty sure, is, um, Bunny. And then third is, um, uh, Tooth, Tooth. Uh, fourth would be Sandman, and then fifth would be Jack Frost. And, um, I really want to get those. Um, I really want to read them because I'm a huge fan of Rise of the Guardians. I can't wait to finally read those. Uh, I don't know which one I'm going to read first, Rise of the Guardians or the Charm, because Charm, I own some of the books, true, and Rise of the Guardians, there's only five books, so it'll be, probably be easier to read those first than the Charm, which has 40 some, so I don't know which one I'll be reading first, but it's definitely one or the other, um, so yeah. Because you're supposed to learn, like, the, you're supposed to learn, I think, about their past or something on the Guardians, I don't know. I don't know much about them to be honest, but I'm a fan of the movie, so I figure why not. And I can't wait to get to the Sandman one because he's my everything. 
I'm glad my mom, mom's not here. She would kill me. <laughs> She's a big Jack Frost fan. And I like his powers, but dang, I said it. Let's be real. Um, the White Rabbit Chronicles, which is um, uh, Alice in Zombieland. And there's like, I think it's good, at least four books in that series, maybe five. I'm not entirely sure. But I heard about them actually quite recently for the first time. And they intrigue me. They really intrigue me. I heard them from Naya Reads and Snarls, I think. But they really intrigue me. And um, I want to try them out. I've only ever read one zombie related book, which is Brown Ruin. Which I'll be, um, which I've only read once, and that was years ago, and I'll be rereading soon once the rest of the books get here, because uh, the first book got here, I got it for free, and then the rest of the books are coming soon, should be soon. I bought them like shortly after I got the first one, like right after actually, so they should really be here soon, um, and I'm excited for them. So yeah, um, but um. So I figured, hey, this has to do with zombies, and from what she was explaining, it sounded kind of interesting. I don't remember much of what she explained now, but, oh well. Um, but they did sound interesting, and I do want to give them a try, and obviously they got high up on my TBR list, even though I just heard about them, so they beat a few other books. <laughs> Next is The Witchlands, which I, I don't remember how many books are in the series, but I know the first one is called The Truth Witch. And... I heard this from a clockwork reader. She was um, doing this after our last Airbender recommendations. And um, so she's basically finding books that gave her some after our last Airbender vibes and recommending them if you like the TV show. My hair's all a mess. Um, if you like the TV show. And I love the TV show, so I definitely, um, I definitely want to give it a try. Um, like each there's like the, all these different types of witches or something and they all control one certain thing like truth witch, which i guess she could make people be honest i don't know entirely how that works but i know there's one that does blood witch which reminds her of ever after me too because the waterbenders only certain waterbenders like really powerful waterbenders can blood bend and base and that's kind of like and that's kind of what some people can do in that series and yeah and I think I think that was the series she said there was a see there was a couple that remind her of Zutara or was that a different book I don't remember now but I'm a huge Zutara fan so yeah <laughs> um next is House of Nights which my best friend loves it's her favorite series of all time and she's always wanted me to read it and it does sound kind of intriguing so I decided why not? I put it on my TBR list this year, and I'm try I'm gonna try and get to it next year. I'm hoping I can, you know, um, so that we'll have at least one series we both like. Actually, I think she's read Ash Princess too, so that'll be two series we we'll both like. But I want to get her into some of my series too. I want to get her into Secrets, cause Secrets is my everything, and I will die without Secrets, as you guys probably know by now. <laughs> um, next is Throne of Glass. Now. I've been wanting to read this for a while, but there is a bit of controversial, controversial, I can't speak. It seems like on booktube, I've been hearing a lot of things lately being pretty negative about the series, but I don't really care much about reviews. If I want to try something, I'm going to try it. Um, and I want to try it. It sounds intriguing. Family, don't end with blood, boy. I don't know if it will be. I hope I'm like it, but I'm going to go into it with a little bit of caution because of how many people have issues with it. So yeah, that's fun. Um, see, there's the Immortal Instruments. The Immortal Instruments, right? That's something I've been wanting to try for a while now, too. Because, um... I just hit myself, didn't I? Okay. Immortal Instruments, I actually heard the TV show before the book, and Sh Shadowhunters, and that sounded interesting, um, and, I've been and I've been wanting to try it, but I have so many shows that it's on my list, which literally I just, I haven't been caring about watching new things, I've been watching rewatches, I've been watching Supernatural, <laughs> uh, 
Well, I thought I would actually been watching much TV at all lately, which I used to be a huge TV watcher. I've always been more into books than TV, but I still watch a good amount of TV. Um, but, um, lately, the only TV I've been watching besides Supernatural, or when I go to bed, I've been watching Johnny Test lately, because I need something I like when I go to bed, but not something that will keep me up wanting to watch it. Like, Johnny Test I like, but not enough to keep me up, like, oh my gosh, you know. So, yeah. Um, and, uh, um, <laughs> so, uh, and BookTube. I've been watching a lot of BookTube. Um, so, yeah. Fun. Um, I've been, I mean, I really need to watch some TV shows, though, on my list of shows I want to watch. Like, seriously, there's so many shows. And, like, there's good two shows that I'm in the middle of, but I can't. It's, it's four, technically. There's actually four of them. But, yeah. Um, but none of them I'm really into right now, and I can't get myself to watch them. One of them, I know why. And the other one, I think I know why. But the other two, I have no idea why I can't get into them. I don't know if it's because they're boring me at this point, or if I just don't have any drive to watch them. I don't know. I guess it's kind of like a reading slump, honestly. I'm in a TV slump. So, except for Supernatural, because that's, like, Supernatural. <laughs> I did watch Buffy and Charm recently because those are two of my all-time favorite TV shows. So yeah, and I watched a few episodes of Roseanne the other day, some of my favorite Darlene and David episodes. So yeah, so I guess it's just those shows that, those few shows that I'm watching that I don't want to watch. <laughs> so, moving on. Um, oh yeah, so I, I never finished my story. So, um, so it was on my list to watch, but then my friend who has actually seen the show said there were books. She hasn't read the books. She's not a huge book lover. She, the, I think the only series that she's really into is Warriors, which is who she's actually is the one that got me into Warriors because of my love for Seekers. And then I got her into Seekers a little bit. So yeah. Um, but she's the one who told me there were books. So I was like, before I watch this TV show, I have to watch read the books first. That's the thing I have. And I'm a little weary because honestly, um, whenever, um, like the books are usually better than the movies, but in my experience, the T when a book has been adapted, adapted to a TV show, the TV show is better. I don't know if that's because I find out about the book after I already got into the TV show and then the book is nothing like the TV show, like Pretty Lies and the Vampire Diaries. I was into the TV shows before I even knew there were books and then the books had nothing to do with the TV show. So I didn't like them and it's because I've already fallen in love with the TV show so I want to read the books before I watch the TV show to see if that is the reason or if it's just because TV shows do better than books I don't know I don't know we shall see um but I definitely want to read it and then watch the TV show and what was the other one called that has um the Infernal Devices, which is also, it's like a prequel series. I think there's several series, and I want to watch, read all of them, to be honest. I don't know how many there are, but there's like all that has to go with the same universe, I guess. All by Cassandra Clare. That's the author, right? Yeah, that's the author. Um, and I just, I want to read all of them that have to do with the Shadow Hunters before I watch the TV show. So I'll read all of them, and then I'll watch the TV show, and I'll decide which one I like better. The books or the TV show. I do not know yet. We shall see. But I heard a lot of good things about Cassandra Clare in, in general and the, her books. So I'm really excited to read them. Um, let's see. A Fire and Stars. That sounded intriguing. It's a duology, I believe. And it sounds a little bit out of what I usually read, but not too much for me not to like it. it so I think it's like barely in the range of the fantasy I usually read. But I heard from it, I think I want to say I heard it from Brittany and Books. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it was her. And uh, it sounds kind of interesting. Basically, this, um, uh, I'm probably going to describe it really badly, but um, this girl, I think, is supposed to be a princess or something. I don't know. And she's, no, she's supposed to marry this prince, I believe. And, um, but she, I don't think she gets along with him very well. And then she starts to fall for his sister and that sounds intriguing i hope it's not an actual romance and like there's just a romance in it because i can't do an actual romance it has to have there there i i love romance in books i do because i love falling over falling in love with a good couple good relationship but 
I can't do pure romance. It's boring, it's, and it's no, no. So I hope this is an actual romance book and it just has romance in it because it felt, feels a little too romance centric. I'm going to be very disappointed because I don't know many fantasy uh, books. I have heard a couple, um, I was re watching one YouTuber who does a lot of fantasy and she um, mentioned a couple of series that are fantasy books but have queer, you know, think representation and um, so, but honestly, so I might get into that a little bit, but honestly, I don't see much lesbian or gay couples in fantasy. That makes me sad. The only lesbian couple in fantasy that I've ever read about was Poppy and Isabella from Hocus Pocus and the All New Sequel. And that makes me sad because I love romance. I do. Um, so yeah. Um, I, I, did I say I love romance? No, I love fantasy. And I love a good couple in the, in the fantasy. I can't do something that's romance centric. I can't do it. Um, so yeah. Um, but it sounds intriguing and I do want to give it a try. I hope it's not just about the romance because that will bore me. Daughter the Pirate King sounds interesting. I've never read a book like it. It's a little bit out of, it's also a duology. It's a little bit out of my comfort zone. But I don't know, it sounded kind of intriguing, you know, reading about a pirate and the person that was, ex um, Recommending it, I want to say Peyton Reese. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I was, I'm pretty sure it was Peyton Reese. She said that uh, it gave her off uh, Jack Sparrow vibes, and I like Jack Sparrow. I like Pirates of the Caribbean, so I decided, so I decided to add it to my TBR list, and I'm hoping I like it. I'd be very disappointed if I do not. Um, honestly, a couple of these books I might be a little bit wary of, but I want to give them a try. Um, Percy Jackson, definitely. Um, I read in like third grade, I read like, uh, I want to say third grade, it might be fourth grade or fifth grade, I honestly don't know, somewhere in elementary school. Um, I read um, like I think the first two, but and I don't know why I stopped, um, I don't know, um, but um, I, wa I want to give it a try, I want to read it because um, I don't know, it's, I think I like it, I've seen the movies, you know, and I hear the books are so much better than them, so I want to give them a try. And the Heroes of Olympus, which is supposed to be a spin-off series, I know uh, an old friend of mine in elementary school used to love that series, and I always said, that sounds interesting, I'll give it a try, never did. Uh, but it'll help if I want to read Percy Jackson first, so yeah. A series of unfortunate events, I love the TV show. So I don't want to watch the movie because the movie does not look interesting like the TV show, but I do want to give this book series a chance because it does sound more interesting, more like the TV show than the movie. I hope I'm right. I hope I'm not just, you know, so just saying crap. Um, so yeah, um, I would definitely want to give that a try. And um, the last one is the Twisted Tale series. I want to finish that. I'm not going to read all of them. Twisted Tale series is... Um, like I, t I've, I talked about the uh, Being the Beast retelling I own. Um, it's part of uh, this one author who does a bunch of these twisted tales um, on a bunch of uh, different fairy tales. And this one was um, uh, what if Belle's mother was the one that cursed the beast. So she twists up each of these fairy tales. And I don't want to try all of them because there's some fairy tales that I do not like and I do not want to re read a retelling of. Like, um, uh, Snow White and Cinderella. I don't care about those. I do want to try the Mulan one and the Alice in Wonderland one are the two that I want to try more than anything. I do want to try the Frozen one as well and I think there's a couple others I want to try. I, uh, there's the Ariel one I want to try and I think there's one or two more I wanted to try. Um, and I want to finally finish those. I'm not usually big on retellings. I'm not. And I'm not big on classics. Um, which I think since these are retellings on classics, I think they're considered classics. I might be wrong, but who knows. Um, so... I do want to give it a try. I do want to, so I'm not big on retellings, but um, but I, I like how this author does it because they put a twist on the normal fairy tale that we're used to, and that makes it a little bit more interesting. So I do want to give them a try and see how I feel. And even though I'm not big on retellings, I do like uh, Bewitch and Oz, which is, it's not really re retelling because it's not about Dorothy. It's like Dorothy's a legend. So it's more like a sequel to Wizard of Oz, if you ask me. But Bewitched in Oz is about Dorothea, who, but her name is changed, it's Dorothea on here. 
but it's still basically about Dorothy and they twisted out the story but it's still nothing like Wizard of Oz really so yeah um so I don't really consider the retelling because honestly it's n nothing alike Wizard of Oz honestly I mean they put in little Wizard of Oz jabs here and there like Dorothy accidentally turned this one girl who had kidnapped them into a scarecrow then the and that um, girl had also sent a huge tin man after them so there's those little things um, you know but other than that it doesn't really I, I, and they do live in Oz and they live as and Dorothy was the princess to the Emerald Palace so there are a few things that show that, the, that it is a little Wizard of Oz but I still don't really consider it a retelling if that makes any sense so yeah that's all for this video um, those are the books I want to read in 2021 and I might read more I don't want I didn't want to say any more because I didn't know if I could read all of them um, I don't see why not the only reason why I lowered it is because Warriors is so long and I am doing some um, rereads at the beginning of the year so yeah but I hope I can get all this done I'm pretty sure I could and maybe I can read more and then I will be very proud of myself if I can so um, please like and subscribe and comment um, your uh, what you want to read in the uh, new year and I will talk to you guys later.